Let's play Kudelka. Welcome back to Mag Sims. Let's play Kudelka. With me tonight is Deathtron Hammer, and I'm RM2K Midi. Howdy, y'all. Did that backwards. Yeah, I did. It was kind of weird, but I know, difference good. This will hopefully be a run-up to the end of this game. Probably not this episode, but soon. We're heading, heading into the Faded Hour. No, past the Faded Hour. Faded Hour is usually where you dick around in a game before taking on the final boss. Okay, we just entered... We just passed the Faded Hour. Yeah. I'm nervous, are you? Yes. Edward, why are you so cool? Nitro. Ah. So no. nice of Edward in that FMV to shoot it so that Kadelka in normal graphics can walk through. So, uh, so that's a thing. I know, but remember, Patrick talked about a tree that grew up. The tree of life. Let's save here. <clears throat> Why not? Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. We may need to reference this point later. You'll see. Far on, flung down the future drain. Ah, sh Huh. Is this the altar where he did his ceremony? I can see that being the case. Where is it? There are marks under the casket. It must have been dragged. Random battle, let's see if it's something interesting. Nope, the usual shit. Where the hell do we go in here? I don't, maybe towards us? Hmm, maybe up over round? Hmm, alright, just head straight. Maybe you can go around the casket or onto the plant itself? Oh, that's obscure. Well, it's hard to tell with how the background is and how dark it is. The background's so dark. I know, and obscure. It's because how the background is, it's all, you know, pre rendered as opposed to having things sticking out going like, Walk here, idiot. Proves how much of it is. The tree of life has stopped. Looking beyond the stained glass, you see a sheer cliff rising from the ocean. A sephirata. Aruhaze. Aruhazato! We've been fighting the same monster party over and over. I know, it's annoying as crap. A ghost and a little worm thing with a light on it. We're like... How many times have we killed you throughout this game? Not just here. What the heck? Did the game freeze? Could it have? Here, go hit the menu button. I'm hitting all the buttons. The damn game froze. <laughs> All that effort. Uh, Hit the reset button. We'll, sh we'll be back. Yeah. Oh, well, what the fuck? That's a first. Let's try this again. Better fucking work. I'd be pissed if this is... The state of the uh, game. Random battle. The, the, the hold is off. The on scene. We have to buy another copy of this game. Some one-legged golden man with a wheel. 
die, die, die. <coughs> and it's immune to physical attacks. My voice sounds weird because I'm standing up next to the TV. Yeah, because he's afraid. Well, I'm afraid too. I'm hoping that's just a fucking fluke. I hope it's a case that we were fluked, not fucked. See what I did there? Yes. Done. Done. Fire, fire, burn away. And done, 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 done. Fire. Pitiful. He's not a magic user, though. No, he's a fisticuffs man. Unless we go, we start the game completely, and we make sure Edward becomes a wizard type. We make Kadelka the melee. That'd be so weird. It's possible, but they don't start you off. It's an uphill. They kind of suggest certain paths for each character. Yeah. Like in my previous play, James was a lot more hands-on. I made him a total mage for this game. It works. So tempted to run out of this battle. But it's just taking too long to be a pain in the ass. I'm so curious what's gonna happen when I get to those stairs again. You cannot hit him. See, RMT has this weird little foot shuffle he always likes to do randomly that he just did just now. You might have heard it, the shuffling of his socks. He always, always does it at the weirdest moments, and this was one of them. Oh, it worked this time. Oh, good. Whew. Okay, you can sit back down, man. They just... Just a fluke. These PlayStation games had that kind of crap. Oh, that was so scary. Holy crap. It's an organ. Could it be a puzzle? Play into God of Vida. <laughs> Runes carved in. Someone would have to be really eccentric to do that. For keys that can be pressed. Hmm. People, secret, pain, and light. Where have I heard that one before? Old letter. It reads... He performed the secret experiment to forget the pain of love. May all people be saved by God's divine lights. Thank you, Deathtron. <laughs> secret pain people's light. The pipe organ sounds of the reverberating reverberating note. Better that. I was gonna call bullshit if it started playing a song. Unless it was Ender God of Vida. <laughs> yes. <laughs> dun 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 People's secret pain of light. Under tanning lights, they burn themselves. <laughs> they have sensitive eyes, yo. Mm -hmm. These random steps are really annoying. 
Maybe the casket moved. Remember it said there are those marks that look like the casket was dragged? So by turning that, it probably moved the casket. You see? You see? Ah, you saw! You saw! Oh, that looks warm and inviting. Totally. Let's chill down there. I'm pretty sure there's going to be um, brownies and hot chocolate and everyone have a good laugh. So hard to click on these things. <sighs> Patrick, you're looking rather Patrick. dead. Patrick. Poor Patrick. What are you doing? What's that? No, don't! I'm not asking for your help. This is my problem. None of you need to die with me here. Pyro. Come on, baby. Let's die together. Let's save here, too. Church. Cauldron of Life. Underground. Yes. Generic sound effects. It's Patrick's body. Steal his awesome glasses, because those are some bitching glasses. If you throw Daniel's arm and call upon the power of fire... Sure. Let us summon the Knight of Fire! Are you sure? Let's proceed. Saint Daniel Scotius, protect us from these evil spirits and grant us inner strength. Amen. Created and born out of dust. Now go quietly and return to thy maker. Nice. Burn. Burn it all. There's nothing quite like a good flame to cleanse the soul. Everything is burning. Alright, so should we head up the, the steeple steps? Step steeples? Yes. I don't want to look up Kodoka's skirt, okay? I'm a gentleman. Check that ass. Okay, I would. <laughs> <laughs> so Edward just reached demigod status by achieving the fabled 9999. Oh. And they were willing to let me keep loading points into his health, even though it didn't do anything for his stats. Those bastards. I'll see if we can... Let's check out how close she is. 720. She might not reach level 3 tornado by the time we make it. Whatever. Unfortunate. We can only hope. Where's the damn... You think it'd be obvious where you need to go here? Oh, you crossed this way. I oh, see weird. that pillar was in the way. I thought that was on the ground, though. I didn't think that was up in the sky. Perspective's so weird. Ooh, a boss. Wow. A vine. Completely indistinguishable from other random battles. <laughs> Fine, Viney. We have just the weed whacker in Edward's hands for you. Edward, finish this. That didn't really finish it. Let's use... Don't feel bad. Um, 
We'll, we'll try again. Don't worry, man. I think Edward's past his prime. <laughs> nice. Match Kodelka's damage. Maybe. That's impressive. Wow. You're overpowered for this, aren't you? Yes. A lot of the strategy guides I read talk like these fights are like. are hellish and brutal. Yeah, and I guess that last boss fight we had was hellish and brutal. Well, for, not because we were underleveled, but because of weird conditions. Yeah. Let's see. Um, let's go back to the Galahad sword. Bam! Spanky! Just bring it. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Do you think fire might be good against these things? Because, you know, they're plants. Well, uh, I can try. They're right next to each other now. I might be able to burn them all at once. I don't go into the deep end anymore. That's where I saw the leprechaun. He told me to burn things. What was the name of that god of fire from Fooly Cooly? Lord Conti? Lord yeah, I think so. Yeah. Conti! Fire starter. <laughs> There's some band called, um, Fire Thief. Its logo is a, a crow with a torch in its mouth. That's pretty baller, actually. I don't know anything about the band. Fucking metal, actually. It, I think it actually is metal. <laughs> Considering my brother's listening to it, it's probably metal. Oh, Mr. X? Yeah, whatever Mr. X listens to, it has to be like super macabre dark stuff, because Mr. X is always into super macabre dark stuff and weird things for the sake of weird things. Like, uh, remember when I came across The Human Centipede and I was like, hey, this is totally the movie that Mr. X would be into. I buried that memory in my head. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. No, I understand. It's a shitty movie altogether. Literally! Ha! No, but seriously? Ew. Ew. That movie? Ew. But totally Mr. X is his feel. Did my... What the hell? Did that... they damage my stats? Why is his health back down? Is that possible? No way. They've been able to damage my stats this whole time? No fucking way. How? That's intense. That's annoying. That's also bullshit. Yeah, that's total bullshit. I hate games that do that. Why do you gotta make me hate you, Kodelka? This doesn't have the best polish of games I've played. Agility idol. Statue representing Hermes. Where is the owner of agility? Do I, is it consumable? I guess it is. Luck. Luck is for fools. I think you go up and down, maybe? Up, oh, there we go. It's so nice to know that Kadoka takes a sauntering walk. Oh, 
around a burning building as opposed to running. So I think we solved the uh, the health issue. It could be a case of uh, stats on a weapon. This Galahad sword was, re was replaced oh, by the Air Barbala. I was using Air Barbala, which raises my hate. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's it. So it's not total bullshit. Okay, okay, good. Because that would have been fucking BS. That'd be like 80s RPG. Like Final Fantasy Legend. That kind of bullshit. Do 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 do. More vines, tentacles, and shit. Good thing you're not a schoolgirl. Cause this would is be that disturbing as what the fuck is that in the back there writhing? Is that Elaine? No, I think it's just some thing guy stuff. I, I don't know, there's plenty of abominations here, you know, take your pick. Yeah. I think seeing Elaine would have far more fanfare than this. I hope so. Maybe some other person that he's fused into this. Hi! Yes, How are you? Is that Patrick? Holy shit, I think it is! <laughs> Patrick? I don't think he's alive, I think it's just his corpse is being dragged. The tree happened to grow through his body. Ah, his body. <laughs> Alright, Patrick, let's give you an impromptu uh, cremation, okay? Yeah, yeah. The Patrick tree is immune to fire. It's using his corpse as a meat shield. And the limbs can cast spells. Hey, takes all kinds. Gee, these things are just a pain in the ass. So I'm betting that back one is going to take physical attacks, the front one's going to be magic attacks. You know, I can see that being the case. Don't mind me! So they make Edward sit here and do nothing while he waits. A lot. <laughs> you see how fast he is? <laughs> Fine, cast Flare. Not that it matters. Wow, that's... You need to have 15 pieces of Flare. Edward don't care. Die. I should load up my crossbow and start shooting Patrick. Oh look who's not in front of you. They changed places. Wow. Fifty damage. <laughs> <laughs> Kill them too? <laughs> That's impressive. Oh, that was a finishing blow. Wow. Uh, load up your crossbow. Use your shillelagh. Maybe hopefully for the last time. Because you have had that shillelagh for what? The whole game now? Yeah. Just so characteristically Irish. Wow, I don't know if that's racist. I'm like a deep Irish. Whatever. I'm probably more Irish than you, so I will act offended on their behalf. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we need to burn this one too. But the crossbow kills everything. Crossbow kills everything. Oh, oh man. Ooh, Spanky. Ooh, James is out. Miss, miss. Jeez. Patrick Vine is kicking your ass. Uh, use her beautiful revive spell. Let's try to get past the monster dumbass. Pretty good. Maybe you only projectile weapon first, because the crossbow is projectile. I haven't tried any serious magic on it yet. I'm gonna let Kodaki use 
tornado or something. Get James to move the fuck away, though. Yeah, he can't take that. Look how far we're pushed to the back of the battlefield. Wow. Geyser. I wonder if that line, like, has Patrick's knowledge of magic in it or whatever. Maybe that's why he's being such a bitch. Nice. There we go. It's a geyser, but it has this, like, frosty look to it. Like it's blizzard and water at the same time. That's, uh, super cold water that's not frozen, so I can see how that can hurt. Wow, Edward, that was an amazing combo. Too bad it all missed. And those all hit. This, on, will, this will end it. Finish it. So it may not be a cremation. We're actually preserving his body in icy water. Ew, soggy corpse. Same thing over and over. Good job. You healed one blow that he's laid the smackdown on you with. I don't want to waste a Padelka turn healing him though. No, just, just kill him. Kill. Uh, what magic casting animation do you like more, Kadokas or James? James is more elaborate. I know, he does the uh, claw and other things. Okay, he did 2100. Let's see what Kadoka does. Alright, there we go. Now it's dead. Rest in peace, Patrick. We'll take it from here. We'll end the episode here. Uh. More of these items. Anyway. That's all the time we have for this episode. Join us next time as we continue to beat this abomination back into the flames. Have a wonderful night. Peace.